Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be going over some fall winter hair trends that I think are going to be awesome for, for male hairstyles. Uh, now here's the first one. This is a little bit on the longer side, right? It's not like, you know, there's no fade, there's no, you know, skin tight, nothing. It's, it's literally a bit of a longer hairstyle. And I think what's going to surprise you is look how long this hair is in the front. So I know a lot of you are always asking me, how long should it be and blah, blah, blah. Like, stop focusing on the number of inches that this has to be and focus on when you can take your hair and pull it down to where it gets to here. That's all you need to focus on. And yes, this is perfectly pin straight hair. I would say, you know, the hair itself is a finer texture, but there's quite a bit of hair. This is nothing out of the ordinary. You know, I've worked on, thousands and thousands of clients this is you know yes it's it's a lot of hair but it's nothing like you know oh this has this has so much hair or it's not where this has like you know the hair is thinning it's it's a really good decent amount of hair but each ind individual hair itself is on the finer side i can literally pull it and it snaps right off okay it is human hair people say oh it's a mannequin hair or dummy hair no this is actual human hair that was implanted into this mannequin, okay? So that's what I have to say about that. Now, what's interesting about this and why it's good for, you know, obviously colder weather, the hair is longer. You have more hair on your head. So what that means is it's gonna keep you a bit warmer, <laughs> especially the fact that it's over the ears. You know, this comes all the way down to here, as you can see, uh, by brushing it back like this, right? It, allow it looks like it's a lot shorter. Now, the thing I did with this haircut is it kind of comes down on an angle here. Uh, and how I did that was by leaving the top longer, right? And, and kind of bringing everything up to this point here, layering it. It has to be layered, okay? You need to have layers. Let me bring this back here so you can see. Layers are, you know, this is a technique designed to remove weight. So if I hold the hair upside down like this, you'll see all of this hair is layered. Right, and that is done when you're getting your hair cut. <clears throat> you need to make sure you explain to them that the hair has to have a flow or have some layers, but the key is to have it, you know, the longest point is gonna be in the front here, and you can, you know, slick it back, you can wear it more natural. Uh, it's a very, it can be a high maintenance type of haircut or hairstyle, but it can also be relatively lower maintenance uh, because of you know, the length of it, and especially if you have straight, more silky type of hair, it'll just fall into place. A great product for this is the Crafted Matte Pomade, which is an amazing product. But also one I think that a lot of people, for, you know, forget about is my Success Grooming Paste. This is a product I had developed, I think it's about a year and a half, two years ago now, <clears throat> maybe even longer than that. And it's literally a you know, I would say like a very light to medium, very pliable hold. You scoop it out and it's a very light textured paste, allows for the hair to uh, be styled very, very easily. It's not heavy at all. You know, it's a, it's a matte to natural finish. It's a really, really good product. And I designed this for longer hairstyles. The matte pomade, on the other hand, um, is gonna give it more of a second or third day lived in look that's a little bit heavier uh, and, it, and it works great for styles like this. And, and you've seen this hairstyle numerous times on my channel. And this is kind of the look that the matte pomade will do where it allows you to kind of really slick back the hair um, and it gives it kind of a more true medium, not firm, but like medium hold, but a very heavy hold if that makes sense. So it's really gonna allow you to slick the hair back nicely with really no shine, to be honest with you. Very minimal shine at that. And it looks like the hair is just very lived in. But again, it's a bit heavier. This is another hairstyle. I think it's great for, you know, the fall, winter months because once again, it's longer. And you can see this is another one where the hair comes all the way down to here. You need to have the hair longer. What's also interesting about this look is that you can see how long the sides are. It comes all the way down to here. The reason is because you're able to slick this back. Take note of the length back into here. Uh, it's not a short haircut by any means, but you know I would focus on having it kind of angled down going this way. 
and then it all kind of is lightly layered through here and you're able to slick it back. That's how you get these flips in the back here is because the hair is layered. Uh, if you don't want to have these flips and you have to blow dry and work the fingers going in this way, the reason it's flipping out is because the hair is freely moving outwards this way. But if I want to reverse this, I would literally have to just take my hands and blow dry it and rake the hair going inwards. You have to set it, okay? You have to set the hair so it does the opposite of what you want it to do. All right, and then lastly, I would say for somebody who's got, you know, kind of curlier or wavier hair, you've seen this a million times on my channel here, but if you have straight hair, I created this look on fully straight hair. It's because I used my number one selling product, which is Tidal Wave. You don't need a lot of sprays of this. I would say, you know, one, two, three, three to four spritzes. That's it. Scrunch it. And then you could set it and forget it. You could use my blow dryer, which I sell here. It comes with the magnetic diffuser and it comes with this, and it also comes with this magnetic attachment, this nozzle, and you literally can blow dry this and just don't touch it while you're blow drying. You can maybe scrunch it a little bit, set it and forget it, then you can finish it off with one or two more sprays of Tidal Wave. But this works well for the winter because, you know, if you want to have less maintenance and you just want to have something where you can scrunch the hair, put some Tidal Wave in it, and also just let it air dry, this is a great style for air drying. Lastly, when it comes to products, shampoo. My hemp shampoo and conditioner is, pro is really an amazing product, especially if you have a very dry scalp, if you have dandruff, any sort of scalp issues. Hemp oil in itself is very, very healing. <clears throat> and the hemp shampoo and conditioner, it's infused with organic hemp oil. So it's gonna be really, really good for your scalp. And I personally know people who told me they have very, very dry scalps, lots of dandruff, stuff like that, and they started using this and it completely went away because of the healing properties of the hemp shampoo conditioner. If you are interested in purchasing any of my products, use code YouTube20, that's YouTube20, at shop.thesalonga.com, and you even get free shipping on a certain amount uh, if you order over that amount. So I'm trying to hook you people up, okay? So let me know in the comments below, do you have one of these hairstyles? Are you growing your hair out for the fall, winter months, I love to know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.